Hello. Are oh, you adorable? So adorable. I'm gonna jump on your head ten times. That's just how adorable you are. You get ten lives from it. I don't remember how I discovered that. Maybe I wasn't in a good mood one day. I don't know. That's how most things get discovered, I guess. Now, if you press circle, I think, yeah, you get a little boost, which I will very rarely use. Because it will hinder me, if anything. Because you need to go... You don't want to go at full speed when getting these boxes, because you will miss these boxes. Especially patterns like this, where the bloody... Oh, it's so specific. Because you, you don't have the greatest maneuverability when you're on ice, so it's such a specific set of boxes. This may take me some time, because I've never been good at this. I'm good at- I'm fine at using Polar, but just getting those boxes, or boxes placed like that, is just like... Nah. <laughs> it's not happening anytime soon. Ah, oh, god damn it! See what I mean? It's so specific. Yes! Despite what the life counter says, I have died more than once. <laughs> I think I died about five times. I was just getting enough Wampa Fruit to actually give me a life each time. So, yeah. That was hellish. Imagine if I missed the checkpoint. Oh, that would be the worst. Oh man, I don't even want to imagine what that feels like. Finally doing it and then accidentally missing the checkpoint. That's gotta be up there as one of the worst feelings on the planet. <laughs> Close to being kicked in the nuts, I imagine. But behind being being dumped, you know, that uh, oh, one's pretty bad. Torture, that's also quite bad. I've experienced both. Uh, okay. Uh, so. God, oh, no. I'm close. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> oh. Oh. God fucking damn it. I believe in myself, I can do this. You are the polar bear. I somehow have still got 53 lives, but I am the bear. The bear is me. I know what the problem is. I know what the problem is. It's me, <laughs> literally. I'm not being brave enough. That is literally the problem. Because I'm not holding right for long. And it's actually killing me. Or it's making me miss it. It's quite interesting, really. Oh my god! How do you... Okay, is it me? Is it just me? Or is it... Like, I... I feel like I have to turn left, otherwise... I won't get to the next one. But because of that, I'm being too much of a coward. I need to... It's surprisingly difficult. Oh my god! This is impossible! Is there actual hit detection on this fucking box? Or is it just me? I f well, there's gotta be hit detection. I'm pretty sure it's me. That said, I am intrigued, because a lot of the times I have been close to it, I'm intrigued to look at it back and, like, frame by frame and see if I actually do touch part of it. You know what it is? It's not me, actually, what well, it is. Um, I'm, I'm actually moving too late, I think. If that makes sense. Like, I'm... I'm... When it looks like I'm going to get it, I'm actually behind it. I think is the problem. Let me phrase that. I hope it's the problem. Yes! 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 Please, for the love of God. I think there's 38 boxes. 48, that's what I meant. Yes! Ha! <sighs>
That took way longer than it should have. Really though. Right. Ah oh, crap, I didn't get the image. Uh, oh well. I'll get after this level. I'm noticing a pattern right now. Every third level I forget to get the image. Every third level of the walk I mean. Let's continue that, shall we? No, let's not. Um, oh dear. This is the one I hate. This is the worst one. Forgetting boxes, at least. Actually, that's no, a lie. The, the last one is the worst one, but this is really bad. The last section is particularly hard. If I hadn't demonstrated the mines before, there would have been a really good point, because I'm not being chased. Right. This is not difficult for anyone who, was, who hasn't seen this. It just looks difficult. Oh my god! I did it, but I almost didn't push forward. I'm just like, huh, it's fine. Wait a minute, I'm supposed to move, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah, there is a very small bit of uh, ledge you can uh, jump on after the gate. It's, it's a really clever uh, bit of platforming, actually. I really like that section. It's not too difficult. Oh! It's not too difficult, but it's not easy either. It's it's the right amount of challenge. The thing I love about this game more than three, more than three is this just has such a darker atmosphere about it. Like three is basically time traveling, and I like it. It works well, um, but the lighting in this game and the music just makes everything seem really dark and desolate and like. Really, like, if you, I've, like, you're, you're in this dark and desolate world, and yet you're actually, uh, you're working to make it worse. Oh no, please don't tell me. Oh no, it's not. Okay, I was gonna say, please don't tell me this is what I think it is. It's not it already, is it? Because I've definitely screwed up, but no, it isn't. There's basically, basically a segment which is gonna kill me, because I have to stop and belly slam. <laughs> so, you can instantly already see why this is going to be a problem. Now, there are some bonus rooms in which you can get more than 100 Wampa Fruit. Let me tell you, that is incredibly satisfying. <laughs> There's no reason why it should be, but it is. It is just the greatest feeling you get when you collect more than 100 Wampa Fruit in a, in a bonus room. No specific reason for it, just the fact that it exists. I don't think that starts happening until World 4 though. Oh shite. Oh shite. Well I'm gonna die. I'm not actually joking, I'm gonna die. Oh crap! Well, I died. Not the way I thought I was going to, but... Yeah, do you see... You see the problem already, hopefully. You don't really want to waste time. For obvious reasons. You want to move as fast as you can. Because there's this. Okay, there we go. That could have gone a lot, a lot worse, actually. I thought there was more than one you had to break down. So that, that actually went quite well. Hooray, I'm alive! Basically, that sums it up. Now let's get the image again. Because, well, I say again, let's get the image for this one and then go back and get the other image. Because I completely forgot about it. Is that possible? <laughs> Can you jump over the electric fences? I don't know. Also, I just noticed that the uh, the gate to that had um, the nose of a polar bear. That is cool. I'll show you when we go out of it. If you didn't notice. See, look, it's a polar bear nose. Isn't that sweet? 
We're gonna see the image for that. <laughs> that is a great image. That is a fantastic image. Okay, the eel deal. Oh, this level. Ha, ah, you may have noticed there's a green gem. Yes, there is. <laughs> There is no indication for where this green gem is, apart from, I guess, the fact that it's in a green room. But that in itself is not a big enough indication, considering what the room actually is. If you don't know where it is already, you're about to be like, oh, interesting. Right. See that box there? There will be a nitro box at the end. The nitros will not destroy it. They don't destroy boxes around it, just nitros. Also, here's the green gem. That's the green room. I know, super obvious, right? How has no one forever, how has no one, like how, how hasn't everyone on the planet found that yet? Oh crap. Like really, how has how has everyone not found that? Like seriously, just come on, easy, too easy. Now kill me, because I've got the gem. I don't, you know, I ain't going back there. But seriously, just how are you supposed to figure that out? Like legitimately, uh, ha I can't remember how I figured it out. I really don't. I think my mentality was just like, like I think at that time I was just like maybe there's a hidden wall. Like I think I was just like bullshitting myself, and I was like, oh, actually that is what it is. It's like there's almost a path, except not really. And then there was, but it's just, yeah, that's the one of the. One of the harder ones to find. The yellow one is technically easy to find because it's fairly obvious what it is when you see it. Um, but if you if you go too slow, you won't be able to find it. You won't you won't get the timer. You've already figured out what it is. I imagine just by me saying that. But the, uh, the final one, the final one is pretty hard to, to spot. It took me a long time. It's clever though, it's really clever. And it actually is, ob it, it's obvious, but you look past it. Let's just say that. Oh dear. Oh wow, that was good timing. Also bullshit lucky, but still. I'm gonna go with good. Well, great. I was gonna say I'm gonna go with good timing on that, and then I screw myself over. So you know, yay. Well, I'm probably gonna end up dying here because I normally do, but we'll see. It's not the hanging section which kills me. Hanging section's fine. It's uh, something else. Which you will see. This room. More specifically, the final jump. I normally, every single time, get hit by these spiky things. I didn't this time though. Hooray. 79. Look at them. Aren't they pretty? I think they're pretty. We can do the boss as well. We've got enough time. Did quite well this video. Ten of twenty-five crystals. You are no way. I'm running low on power, so communication from this point will be difficult. Again, 
Be wary of the pathways between wolf ruins. Remember, I was counting. I think now's a good time to remind you, I've been recording for about an hour and 16 minutes. If I was in a race against the world record holder, I've just completed Warp Room 2, or I'm about to complete Warp Room 2, they would have completed the entire game 100%. Let that sink in. I haven't been particularly going slowly. It's just, it's insane what they can do. The Komodo Bros. Komodo Mo and Komodo Joe. Hi there. How you doing? Basically, when he stops spinning, he'll bounce around the room, hit him, and then you win. It's always I've always wondered, like, has anyone ever been able to hack Crash to the point where, like, you can put Aku Akus in the in a boss room? Like, what would happen to the boss if you if you were invincible? Like, would you just instantly deal damage to them? Like, like how, do they, how do they work, I wonder? I mean, presumably they can't actually be hit until they're flashing, because they're flashing for a reason. But, I don't know. I don't know how it works. Interesting to think about. I know that, like, hacking isn't, um, like, a thing within the Crash community yet. Um, not ex at least an extensive, uh, the current or former world record holder, Mr. Bean, that guy. He, um, he's also the person who, um, who hacks, uh, Mario Kart Wii and basically made it moddable and, um, like, had, uh, have custom tracks, the hundreds of thousands that I made. Um, no, but the, uh, but he's, he's making, like, a, a master difficulty version of Crash 2 where, like, nitros and TNTs and stuff everywhere. The level design's the same, but the crates are different, and it's just ridiculous to watch. It's cool, but it's ridiculous. So, hopefully that still expands. Good show, Crash. The Komodo brothers obviously lacked your medal. But now is not the time to get cocky. There are still many crystals to obtain. Remember, the world is counting on you. I believe you. I really do. Right. That is a really creepy image. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna save. Oh, hello. Uh -huh. That's old. Um, overwrite that then. I don't know what that's from. I'm guessing a stream of some kind. But hey, there we go. We're, we're ready. I don't know how you actually name yourself. I actually don't. Anyway, um, I don't remember how I did it. But yeah, we got we got some levels later on. We got plant food, sewer or later, bear down, road to ruin, and unbearable. So yeah, next time we'll be doing these. See you then.